Okay, it is Wednesday, and that means we're cooking with Rainya. Only once again, she's not actually here in our studio. Instead, Rainya is practicing social distancing and cooking from her own home. And today she's cooking a new dish from Easter leftovers. Hi, everybody. Here I am, still in the kitchen in Mount Lebanon, wishing I was with you. But today's show is going to be great because I am using up all of the leftovers that I have from Easter. Now, let me tell you something. I always overmake every holiday, whatever it is I'm making. But one of the things that I really overmake are my Easter eggs that I dye. Don't ask me why two people need three dozen eggs, but that's the way I roll. So I have a lot of hard boiled eggs and what am I going to do with them? Egg salad. Now, the first thing I do is I put all of the ingredients in a bowl before I put in the eggs. Starting off with celery, which I've chopped, red onion, and a little bit of garlic, just a little bit of garlic. You don't want to overpower this. So once you have all of those ingredients in there, the next thing is a no-brainer, mayonnaise. Now, what I'm going to do here, and, and really on the mayonnaise, folks, you really have to do this sort of judge on your own. We're gonna start off with about three quarters of a cup, but maybe we'll need a little more because I'm making 12 hard boiled eggs that I've chopped up here. Then I always add Dijon mustard to my egg salad. It gives it a great zing. I have here, I'm gonna say roughly two tablespoons. Now my secret ingredient, mango chutney. Mango chutney, I think I bought about four jars. I love it. Now, next thing I want to do are my eggs. So what I have here are 12 hard boiled eggs, a little bit of lemon juice, and you know, I just put the hard boiled eggs in the food processor, but what I did was is I pulsed it on off, on off, on off. I didn't want to make paste, I just simply wanted them to be chopped. So I'm going to mix all of this together and you can check the seasoning. If you want, you can add a little bit of pepper to this, you can add some salt. The bottom line is you got yourself here a great egg salad. Now I'm going to set this aside and maybe what I should do is show you what it looks like. All right, I'm setting this aside on with the ham salad. Little different approach with the ham salad, kids. I'm using cream cheese. I softened a whole package of cream cheese. If you want, you can add just a little bit of mayonnaise, but just a little. And guess what? Some more of the mango chutney. Now this time I'm adding in about a quarter of a cup before it was about a half of a cup with the egg salad. Same deal with the Dijon mustard. Maybe about two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. I'm gonna mix, 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 mix this. And so you see there's a theme here with the mango chutney. Add this. This you might want to add just a little bit of salt, just a little bit of pepper, and mix that up. And now the ham left over from Easter. Same deal with the ham. All I did was put that in the food processor as well. So again, pulse, 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 don't pulverize. So now I have my ham salad here, and this is going to be a little stiffer than the egg salad. But oh boy, is it good. Now make sure you get that cream cheese mixed in there. Work it and work it well, and look at that. I think you're going to love the addition of the cream cheese instead of all mayonnaise in this. Now, going back to the egg salad so that we can create that, we're going to add in some chopped almonds that I toasted. Now, if you don't have almonds, you want maybe you have walnuts, maybe you don't want nuts, it's okay, you don't have to add them, but I just love that additional crunch with the celery. And when you bite into it, you really know you have yourself a great meal here. Now I'm using pumpernickel bread. So what I have here are two slices of pumpernickel. 
You can toast the pumpernickel or you can just leave it untoasted. It's your call. I like putting arugula down. Frankly, if you can't find arugula, any lettuce will do. I'm going to be using mixed greens today because that's what I happen to have in the refrigerator. So I'm going to set that aside and using a serrated knife, cut this in half on an angle. And I'll show you what this looks like. Oh boy, just like that. And what we have here is the ham salad. So I'll add the ham salad on next. And with this one, I like to add some cucumber and some radishes. And I want to move this out of the way so that you can see that too. All right. So you want to add some cucumber and some radishes to this. Again, instead of lettuce, cut this in half on a diagonal and you're going to have yourself yet another fabulous sandwich. You're going to really enjoy this. Bon appetit from my kitchen to yours. I love you, I miss you. See you soon, I hope. Bye-bye.